Medical Model of Disability, Wikipedia Article Audio The medical model of disability, or medical model, arose from the biomedical perception of disability. This model links a disability diagnosis to an individual's physical body. The model supposes that this disability may reduce the individual's quality of life and the aim is, with medical intervention, this disability will be diminished or corrected. History Components and Usage Criticism The medical model focuses on curing or managing illness or disability. By extension, the medical model supposes a compassionate or just society invests resources in healthcare and related services in an attempt to cure or manage disabilities medically. This is in an aim to expand functionality and slash or improve functioning, and to allow disabled persons a more normal life. The medical profession's responsibility and potential in this area is seen as central. Before the introduction of the biomedical model, patients relaying their narratives to the doctors was paramount. Through these narratives and developing an intimate relationship with the patients, the doctors would develop treatment plans in a time when diagnostic and treatment options were limited. This could particularly be illustrated with aristocratic doctors treating the elite during the 17th and 18th century. The reliance of doctors on the narratives of patients diminished with the growth of biomedicine. In 1980, the World Health Organization introduced a framework for working with disability, publishing the International Classification of Impairments, Disabilities, and Handicaps. The framework proposed to approach disability by using the terms impairment, handicap, and disability. While personal narrative is present in interpersonal interactions, and particularly dominant in Western culture, personal narrative during interactions with medical personnel is reduced to relaying information about specific symptoms of the disability to medical professionals. The medical professionals then interpret the information provided about the disability by the patient to determine a diagnosis which likely will be linked to biological causes. The medical professionals now define what is normal and what is abnormal in terms of biology and disability. In some countries, the medical model of disability has influenced legislation and policy pertaining to persons with disabilities on a national level. The International Classification of Functioning, Disability, and Health published in 2001, defines disability as an umbrella term for impairments, activity limitations, and participation restrictions. Disability is the interaction between individuals with a health condition and personal and environmental factors. The altered language and words used show a marked change in emphasis from talking in terms of disease or impairment to talking in terms of levels of health and functioning. It takes into account the social aspects of disability and does not see disability only as a medical or biological dysfunction. That change is consistent with widespread acceptance of the social model of disability. The medical model of disability focuses on the individual's limitations and ways to reduce those impairments or using adaptive technology to adapt them to society. Current definitions of disability accept biomedical assistance but focus more on factors causing environmental and social exclusion. Uncritical reliance on the medical model produces unwanted consequences. Among advocates of disability rights, who tend to subscribe to the social model instead, the medical model of disability is often cited as the basis of an unintended social degradation of disabled people, further, resources are seen as excessively misdirected towards an almost exclusively medical focus when those same resources could be used towards things like universal design and societal inclusionary practices.
This includes the monetary and the societal costs and benefits of various interventions, be they medical, surgical, social, or occupational, from prosthetics, drug-based and other cures, and medical tests such as genetic screening or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. Often, a medical model of disability is used to justify large investment in these procedures, technologies, and research, when adaptation of the disabled person's environment might ultimately be more beneficial to the society at large, as well as financially cheaper and physically more attainable. Also, some disability rights groups see the medical model of disability as a civil rights issue and criticize charitable organizations or medical initiatives that use it in their portrayal of disabled people, because it promotes a pitiable, essentially negative, largely disempowered image of people with disabilities rather than casting disability as a political, social, and environmental problem. Impairment equals a loss or abnormality of physical bodily structure or function, of logic psychic origin, or physiological or anatomical origin, disability equals any limitation or function loss deriving from impairment that prevents the performance of an activity in the time lapse considered normal for a human being. Handicap equals the disadvantaged condition deriving from impairment or disability limiting a person performing a role considered normal in respect of age, sex, and social and cultural factors.